Uh, hello. I, I'm going to ask you all to do me an enormous favor before we do anything. Um, the first thing is that I have been um, forced uh, at this old age of being an old fart that I am, I have been forced to become a Twitterer. And uh, these things that I have to do now, I have been told by my publicists. And so what I'd like everybody to do is please just give me a wave and I'm going to take a photograph of all my twats that I send the Twitters to. So give us a wave, won't you? <sighs> There we go. And over there, let's have a wave from that bunch. Ah, uh, there it goes. And uh, we won't forget all the tretters over here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yes, hello! Oh, that'll be lovely. And now, uh, just a word of advice before I continue at all, is that um, I please ask you, if you have a cell phone, please, now is the time to turn it off. I, um, I do know that they have a, a jamming device in this building. I've just turned mine off. Um, they have a jamming device that they're going to turn on now, uh, please. Uh, and if your phone rings during my presentation, somebody will come in and jam it into an orifice you won't enjoy. So I w would advise you to turn it off now. Thank you. I am very honored to be here to speak to you all uh, at the Discovery Vitality Summit. I'm a great believer in this. I think it is vitally important that we all do it. I'm here because of my book, Fitness for Old Farts, that I penned uh, last year sometime. Uh, and uh, it was admitting that I am an old fart that really changed my life. And we'll get to that in a while, and we'll talk around and about the book in a minute. But really, my great message and my great hope for people as they are at the, whatever age they are and as they move forward in life is that they retain the three F's in life. And the three F's are fitness, flexibility, and fun. I could see a couple of people blinking by the time we got to the third F there, but no, I leave that up to you. <laughs> no. Fitness, flexibility, and fun. And with those three things... We keep our minds alive. And with our minds alive and our bodies in shape, we can enjoy our golden years. Laughter is the best medicine there is. And laughter is also one of the greatest exercises anyone can have. Fun is what we're on the planet for. Back to health. Back to health. The way I see it, and the slide into old fartness, I, first of all, I don't claim to be an expert in anything other than perhaps human nature. And old fartness creeps up on us all. And it starts, for those who put up their hands first, in our 20s. And it continues through our 30s, in our 40s, and it hits us in the ass, girls, in our 50s. Is my ass look big in this? Absolutely. It's the gradual deterioration that fools us. I mean, let's face it, let's face it. If you went to bed at night, I see we've got Mornay here, how's it Mornay, nice to see you. If we went to bed at night looking like Mornay, okay, and you woke up in the morning looking like Eddie Eckstein, 150 pounds heavier, I ate the cow, you do something about it. You get up saying, oh my God, what the hell happened to me in the night? And you do something about it. But it is the slow deterioration that's the problem. That's what fools us. It's that half a kilogram a month or less. That's the problem. Because you see, it's not noticeable. It's not self-evident immediately that there's a problem. And it allows us to hold that subconscious belief that it's not really our fault. And, 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 and you know, nothing I can really do about it. And perhaps if I ignore it, it'll get better on its own. You know the, the change I'm talking about. It's that change from going, geez, these pants are a little tight. I know, I'll go up one size uh, just for comfort's sake until I get around to doing something about it. It's that change. It's the change that at the end of the year, you've done nothing about it. You weigh an extra 10 kilos. You look like a fat pig, and you find yourself standing in front of mirrors. To, uh, yeah, well, if I look, hold it like this, I don't look so bad. Hey, look, yeah, no, that's, 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 that's good. <sighs> I got suck in. <sighs> Yeah, and anyway, I mean, come on, at my age, I look good for a man my age, with, with heavy bones and a slow metabolism. In fact, it seems that we are willing to spend almost any amount of money to get into shape as long as it does not involve getting off the couch, doing exercise, or going on a diet. So, 
So who are we going to blame? Who do we blame at the end of the day when the super pill that melts fat, the Elizabethan shock machine doesn't work? When all the lubes, the lotions that we've been rubbing on our bodies every night have had no effect? When that special oil that only a very few people know about, eh? that special oil that's squeezed from a bulb only known by Narmab trackers, yeah, cost 10,000 rand a drop, my God. When that has had absolutely zero effect on our bodies, who do we blame? You blame yourself. And if you're an old fart, you join the old farts club. And that's what my book is all about. God bless you all. I wish you great health. I wish you everything that you want from your lives. To those of you who are over 50, this book could change your life. And if you don't do the exercise, it'll make a great coaster. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you all. Good afternoon.